everybody has, everybody has to yeah say that's okay all right well good morning everybody it's nice to see you bright and early and let's just uh let's just start as we normally do in our comfortable seated position Sit up nice and tall. Let's close your eyes. Start to settle in. Let's relax your jaw and soften your temples. Take your shoulders up to your ears. Flip the heads of the shoulders back and down. Yeah. Then we'll start to connect with our breath. So watch the breath flow in through the nose and out through the nose. And just witness the breath. Just notice how that feels when you start to really pay attention to your breathing. Go ahead, Emma. How you start to slow things down. All right, no, I'm here. She's starting already. And then we're going to deepen that. We're going to take a big breath in to the count of four. So let's take it. Let's take an exhale and just let everything out first. And then breathe in for four, three, two, one. Now let's hold it here for four, three, two, one. Gently exhale. Hold it at the bottom. And let's do that again. Big breath in. Hold it. Gently let go. Empty it out. Hold it at the bottom. And again, let's do it one more time. Breathe in, fill it up. Hold it. Gently exhale. And then hold it again at the bottom. And then just let your breath flow. All right, so let's find our strip. And we're gonna just take the strap and fold it in half. Well, again, it depends on the length of your strap. Mine's a long one, so I'm gonna fold mine in half. But if you have a shorter one, then you're probably not gonna do that. We're gonna take the strap and reach out in front. So our wrists are right in front of our shoulders. And then take the shoulder blades down and back and sit up nice and tall. And just pull to the right and pull to the left. Then we'll bring our arms up and overhead. Now lift the chest. So you're taking your shoulder blades in toward each other. Draw your navel in and up. Sit up tall and reach the crown of your head up. So we're just engaging the arms, engaging the shoulders. Float the shoulders down away from your ears. Pull to the right and pull to the left. And then slowly bring your hands down. Just keep a hold of your strap, just sit here and kind of notice that, right? It really starts to build some heat in the shoulders. So we're gonna take our hands a little wider on the strap and then we're gonna reach the arms back up and then we'll go behind us. So, so make sure you have enough so you can get here and then we'll just go in a rotation. So just go at your own pace. So make sure it's long enough that you can get this opening right here. We're opening up the chest. And again, just go at your own pace. And then you can add the figure eight. You can take the right hand behind and the left hand in front, right hand behind. And then go in the opposite, left behind, right in front. And then just go ahead and bring your hands back in front 
And let's take the strap over to the side. Sit up tall again. Let's reach our arms out to the side. So reach through your fingertips, really extend. And then we're gonna take the right elbow under the left, hold onto your shoulders, or maybe bring your hands together somehow. It could just be the backs of your hands, or you can maybe get your palms together, whatever works for you. We're, we're really trying to open up the shoulders again. So now once you're here, press your shoulders up and forward. I mean, press your elbows up and forward. So you feel, that expansion across the back of the shoulders. So you're feeling it where you were opening up the chest before here. Now we're stretching the, the back, pressing up and forward. And then come up. Arms out as the side, sit up nice and tall, lift the chest, and then the left will come under the right and then bring your palms to wherever you wanna go. You can stay on your shoulders, or hands can come together. And we press up and forward. And if you're here, same thing. We're pressing up, lifting, kind of squeezing the shoulders together. And then go ahead and unwind. And then let's come on to our backs. So keep your strap nearby. We're gonna lie down on our backs. Take your legs long. Reach your arms overhead. Hook your thumbs together. And then press through your heels, reach through your fingers, lift the chest. Take a big exhale. Now inhale, just let everything go. Switch your thumb grip and then exhale again and press through the heels, reach through the fingertips, lift the chest. Inhale, switch your thumb grip again. Exhale, press and reach. And then come on down where your hands are on your belly or your, by your side. All right, let's hug the right knee in. Hug it up. Take the left leg long, clasp around your right shin. Now press through the left heel. Take that left pinky toe up. And then we're gonna hug that right knee. Just hug it toward your shoulder. You can even take it off the belly, hug it down. Press down and then take your tailbone into your mat. So you're gonna feel a little bit of pinching in, the, in that right psoas, in that right hip flexor. Lift the chest. Squeeze it down. All right, now release that. Take your left hand on your right knee and we're gonna take our knee over to a twist. <laughs> Hi, Molly. <laughs> now, if the right shoulder is popping up, pick up your left shoulder, take your right shoulder down. Inhale, lengthen through the left heel and then exhale, go deeper into your twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, then twist. And one more time, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. And then bring your knee up and float that foot to the edge of your mat. Other side, hug the left knee up. We're gonna clasp around the shin. Take the right leg long. And you can take the knee kind of over towards your shoulder, so just to get it off your internal organs. And then we're gonna press it down. Just press down, then take your tailbone into your mat. Lift your chest. Squeeze it down. Feel that pinching sensation. Just releasing the psoas a little bit. Tailbone presses into your mat. All right, now release. Take your right hand on your knee, your left knee, and we're gonna take the knee over to the right. Maybe pick up that right shoulder to get that left shoulder down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And then one more, inhale. Exhale, deep twist. And then bring your knee up and let that foot glide. All right, let's take the right knee up again. 
Take your left leg long. This time we're just gonna take, we're gonna leave the knee kind of in line with the hip and we're gonna take the forehead to the knee. So just squeeze it in, hug it in, press through your left heel, hold it here. Let's hug everything in. Hug it in. And then release. And other side, hug the left knee up, forehead to your knee. Press through the right leg. And then release. And now we're gonna take both knees in. Hug them in. And take your forehead to your knees. So squeeze everything in here. Chin tucks into your chest. Just kind of moving the spine. We'll do a forward bend. And then we'll release. All right, now let's take our strap. And we're gonna take a strap around the right heel. Take your left leg long. All right, now we want the right leg straight and we want the chest lifted. So kind of scoot your shoulders under your chest. Make sure that your right knee's not bent because the idea is we want to get into the hamstring here. So if you just you know, take it further away from your body, that's fine. Left leg is long, left pinky toe points up, lift the chest. And then we're taking that right thigh bone away from our chin. Draw the right toes towards your shin. So you're flexing through that foot and then you're also flexing through the left foot. Breathe here. Right thigh bone draws away. The right hip presses away. And then take the low belly towards you. Toward your chin. Pull down on the right heel with the strap and then press that heel into the strap. Bend your knee and we'll switch sides. So take your right leg long, strap comes around the left heel. Lift the chest. Press away with that right leg. Right pinky toe points up. And then that left leg is straight. So do what you need to do to get that stretch in your hamstrings. And we pull down and push in. Take that left, that left hip away from your chin. And then the low belly towards your chin. Now breathe. Nice deep breaths. And then bend your knee. We're going to switch sides again. Go back over to the right. Take the left leg long. We'll take both ends of the strap into our left hand. And then we're going to take our right thumb into our right hip crease. And we're going to push that right thigh bone away. Now we're going to take the right heel over in line with our left shoulder. Continue to take that right thumb into your right hip crease and push the hip away. The left pinky toe is pointing up. That leg is straight and strong. Low belly draws up and the chest lifts. Hold it here. And breathe. And then bring your leg up and we'll switch sides again. So take the strap around the left heel. Take both ends of the strap into your right hand. Left thumb will come into your left hip crease. Lift your chest. All right. Take your left heel over in line with your right shoulder. And then take that left thumb and push that left hip away. The right pinky toe points up to keep the internal rotation of our Right leg, right hip, lift your chest. And then bring the leg up and remove your strap. All right, now we're gonna take the strap back over to the right and you can put a support underneath your right hip, a blanket or a block. We'll take both ends of the strap into our right hand and the left leg goes long. Left pinky toe points up. 
Lift the chest, lock that right shoulder down. Take your left hand on your left hip bone, pull that hip to the floor. And then take your right leg out to the right. So the outer edge of your right foot is parallel to the floor. Lift your chest. Hold it here. So big stretch in the inner thigh in your adductors. This one usually feels pretty good. Opening up the, the inner thigh. Pull that left hip down. Really get that opening in the hip. Take a breath in. And then you exhale, bring the leg up, bend your knee and we'll switch sides. So if you use the support, bring it over to the other side. Both ends of the strap come to the left hand, right leg goes long, right hand on your right hip. Lift your chest, lock that left shoulder down, and then we'll lower the leg out to the left. Pull the right hip down. Right pinky toe points up. Don't let that foot splay open. See if you can control that. It's easy to con con control this left leg. We've got the strap, we're holding it. It's the right leg, we want to continue to remain active as well. All right, let's take the leg up and remove your strap. You put it over to the side. Bend your knees, keep your hips and heels in line with each other right now. So we're all in one line, our heels, hips, shoulders. And then we're gonna slide the right foot over to the right and let that right knee drop in toward the left foot. And then we check in here. If this is okay, then you can take your left foot onto your right thigh and deepen that stretch. And then we check our alignment. We wanna make sure our right knee's in line with our right shoulder and lower down. And add on if you want. The right arm can come overhead. Take a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. And get that length. Maybe drag the left heel down your thigh. Reach up through the right. And lift your chest. Big stretch here. This is internal rotation of our, our right hip. So kind of notice how this feels. We do this a lot. Notice if, you know, there's just anything going on here. You might feel a little different from one week to the other or from one time you do this to the other, just depending on what we do during the week. All right, let's come out of this. Carefully uncross, bring your feet back on the mat, square off your hips. Other side, slide the left foot over, let the left knee drop in towards your right foot. And then we check in from here. So if this feels easy, then we take the right foot on the left thigh. And then we check our alignment, making sure that left knee and the left shoulder are on one line. And then you can always add the upper attachment of the psoas by bringing the left arm overhead, taking a hold of your wrist with your right hand. Ah, lift your chest. And breathe. And then go ahead and come out. Place your feet back on your mat. All right, so external rotation. We're gonna take the right knee out over to the right and slide the right foot behind the left heel. And this is it right here. You're gonna feel this external rotation of your right hip. And if this is enough, we're gonna stay here. If you can go farther, you can take your right heel in front of your left, your left heel in front of your right shin and let that left knee drop out. 
So now we've got both hips rotating externally. And if this still feels easy, you're gonna take your left foot onto your right thigh and let that left foot drop open. So just kind of figure out where you need to go today. And then you can always add on, reach the arms overhead, just tuck the shoulders underneath your chest. Come back to your breath. Take the low belly up. You can always hold on to your opposite elbows if that feels better, or even take your arms wide, or just keep them back down on your hips if that feels better. But we still want to lift the chest. We want the shoulders tucked underneath the chest. And then let's uncross. Let the left knee drop over and tuck your left foot behind your right heel. And then we go from there. Right heel can come in front of the left shin. So you're in Sukhasana. Or the right foot can come onto the left thigh and let that right knee drop out. Ah. Lift the chest. Ah. And reach your arms overhead, if you'd like, just optional. Deep breath, scoop the shoulders underneath. Keep the chest lifted. And take your low belly up. And then carefully come on up. And you can hug your knees in. Maybe move them around a little bit. Sometimes it's nice to take, just take a happy baby. Just whatever feels good for you right now. And then we'll roll over to one side. Now we're going to come to a, um, well, what we're going to do, we're going to come to a seated position, but I'd like you to get a block or a blanket or a pillow. And we're going to take the block and sit back on it like this in Virasana. I'm going to sit this lengthwise on my, on my mat so you can see me. And then I'll probably switch. Okay, so we'll take the, let's take the left foot forward and the, and the right foot's gonna be behind us. Now, if this doesn't work for you, then you're gonna come into a lunge. So you'll be on your right knee <laughs> and your cat will walk under your legs. All right, and you'll be on your right knee. So you're, we're, we're working this right quadricep, all right? So if this, it works better for you to stay here. Otherwise, we're going to go into um, Suptavir, uh, one legged Varasana, Ekapada, right? So we'll start here and then we'll take our hands back. So that's going to deepen that, right? So if you're lunging, you're going to take your hip towards your left heel. If you're in Varasana, we're leaning back and we're going to start to feel this stretch here and lift your tailbone slightly off of your prop and then lower down. So for some of you, you might be able to go onto your forearms. If you can, take the block out, all right? So you don't need to be on the block. You can come onto your forearms and go a little bit further into the pose. Now just be careful, if you see your knees start to pop up, then that means you're probably as good as you should, as far as you should go. You probably shouldn't go much farther than that. So if some of you know, you can go all the way onto your back, go ahead. And we're gonna just lift the tailbone again, kind of make that adjustment and lower down to get that big stretch in the quad. And again, if you're in a lunge, yeah, you know what to do. I see some of you in a lunge. You can forward, you can reach your arm up. Same thing, we're opening up the same muscle it's really just about your knees. So we don't want you to blow your knees out in this pose, all right? So let's, wherever we are, let's carefully come up, come onto your hands and knees, and then we'll switch sides. So if you're on your block, you're gonna sit back on your block. You know you don't need a block, just have a seat. And then we'll take the right foot forward. So I guess I'll face this way. 
Just so you can see. Right foot forward. So again, if you're in your lunge, now you're on your left knee and you're taking your tailbone towards your right heel. Otherwise, you're in one legged Garasana. And we're going to lean back. We're going to make that adjustment. Lift your tailbone, take your low belly up, and then lower down. You're going to feel a really deep stretch right there, right? That's going to make it go a lot further into the pose. And again, if you can get onto your forearms, remove the block and lower down. And then make that adjustment again. Tailbone lifts, low belly towards your chin, hold it here. Lift the chest. Take a couple more breaths. And then come on up and back onto your hands and knees. So we'll stay here on our hands and knees, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Push the floor away from you. Take your tailbone towards your knees and look up at your belly button, surrounding your back into cat pose. Now let your belly drop towards your mat. The tailbone will drop up, or turn up toward the ceiling, broaden across your collarbones, and then maybe reach the crown of the head up. And let's go back to cat. Exhale the cat. Inhale the cat. And just go a couple more times at your own pace. Just exhaling into cat, inhaling to cat. And then the next time you're in cow pose, stay there. Keep the tailbone tilted. Turn your toes under. We're going to lift into down dog. So keep your knees bent. Heels can stay high. Fingers spread wide. Now wiggle your chest to your thighs. And then you can take your tailbone a little bit higher. Look at your knees or look at your thighs to keep the neck long. And then maybe press through the left heel, bend the right knee, and switch sides. So you can pedal your feet. Maybe even get the hips into the action. Now look towards your hands and walk your feet to your hands, coming into a forward bend. Just let the head drop heavy toward the floor. So the crown of the head will be parallel to the floor. You can hold on to your opposite elbows. Or even just let your arms dangle. Whatever you're doing, let's just make this a big, huge release. So let's take a big breath in through the nose. Keep your knees as soft as you need to. If this is tough on your hamstrings, bend your knees. If this is easy, you can straighten your legs a little bit more. So let's take a big breath in. And then let it go loud. <sighs> Exhale. Big breath in. Big loud breath out. <sighs> Feel that. Weight of the world just releasing. One more time, breath in. And let it go. Take your hands on your hips and come up to standing. All right, so let's get a block. We're going to take the block over to the, we'll take it over to our left side. Take our feet wide and then turn your left toes out and the right toes in with the left heel intersecting the right arch. We're gonna extend the arms out, lift the chest. Inhale, and then exhale, reach out and find your block. You're gonna reach out with control, find your block, and the block can be high, medium, or low. Take your right hand on your hip right now. Stack the right shoulder over the left. Take the back ribs toward the front ribs. So we're lifting the chest into Trikonasana. And we're gonna take that left butt cheek toward the back heel. And then you can take your right arm up if you want. If it feels better here, whatever feels good for your shoulders. 
Always listen to your body before you listen to me. And we're just gonna stay here for another couple of breaths. So we're gonna lift the chest, really rotating the back ribs toward the front ribs. So we're getting that twist here, opening up the chest, and then the external rotation of this front leg by taking that back, that butt cheek toward the back heel. So let's come up, bring your block with you, and we'll switch sides. So now the right toes are pointing out, left toes in and up, arms extend out. Lift the chest. Inhale, exhale. We'll take the left hand on the hip and slowly make your way down onto your block. And again, it could be high, medium, or low. And then we take the back ribs toward the front ribs. So it's our right ribs toward our left ribs. Stacking that left shoulder over the right. And then really press into the outer edge of your back foot. So the back leg is strong. Then we take the front butt cheek toward the back heel. If you want, you can extend your left arm. Up, lift the chest, open the chest. Big breath here. And then come up. Take your feet in line with each other and step them together. Okay, so if you have two blocks, we're gonna take the blocks. If you don't, you can use a chair or your couch or something. So we're gonna stand in front of our, actually, yeah, stand in front of your blocks or your chair. Take your hands on your hips. Now walk your hands in toward each other and even maybe take your, your thumbs onto your tailbone and try to draw the tailbone down towards your heels as you take your low belly up. We're getting a little bit of a back bend here, all right? So our legs are strong, we're in Tadasana legs. We're lifting the chest and take a breath in here. And as you exhale, keep the chest lifted, keep it lifted. We're gonna come forward so our torso is parallel to the floor and then we're gonna find our blocks and we're gonna find our chair, all right? So if you have your blocks, your wrists are underneath your shoulders. And if you have your chair, you're somewhat there too, for now. Now, we're gonna walk the blocks out a little bit farther, or you're gonna press your chair a little bit farther. So we're in Ardha Uttanasana, but we're really getting that length through the, the spine. So and we can always use a wall here too, which we usually do when we're in a room. So either way, we're just trying to open up, lengthen through the spine, lift the chest, wherever you are. Lots of options here. Take the tailbone toward the back of your mat. And if you don't have any props, you just can have your hands on your shins, right? I probably should have said that first. <laughs> okay, let's come into a forward bend release. Hands on your hips, come all the way up. All right. So let's step our feet wide. Now let's keep a, we're gonna keep a block up at the top of our mat. Step our feet wide. Turn the left toes back out, right toes in, just like before. And then we're gonna bend our front knee into a square, into warrior two legs. Arms extend out, lift the chest. Hold it here, keep the chest lifted. And then we're gonna go into a balance. We're gonna go into Ardha Chandrasana, into half moon pose. So there's a lot of things you can do this at the wall. You can use your chair too. But let's start with our right hand on our hip and then we're gonna come forward and find this block or your chair, all right? So I'm gonna start with the block. And the block's about six inches in front of your big toe. Then we step into the front leg. Start to find your balance and lift that right leg parallel to the floor. So it's good to find a spot to focus on, maybe on the floor, if you're finding yourself a little wobbly. I'm a little wobbly. And then maybe extend the right arm up. You're flexing through both feet. So even the lifted leg is strong. It's a Tadasana leg. Even getting, it's. Just like when we're on the, on the mat, we're turning that pinky toe up, right? So we're getting the internal rotation 
of the lifted leg. And then carefully step back, warrior two, straighten your front leg. Let's get our block, we'll move it to the other side. Spin the feet around. Whew, that built some heat. All right, so we're gonna let the right toes point out, left toes in and up, and then we'll bend the front knee. Lift the chest. Inhale, we'll start with our right, left hand on our hip. Oh, I'm sorry, the foot, the block goes in front of our foot. So we're gonna reach forward and step into that front leg. So we're just doing a traditional half moon today. Nothing fancy, we only have an hour, so we can't get into a lot of the techniques. All right, now we're gonna lift that left leg parallel to the floor. And then find your balance here. Establish your foundation. Remember that pinky toe is pointing up, just like it always does, right? It's a tadasana leg. And maybe extend the left arm up. So if this feels easy, you can always play around with your gaze. You can try to look forward, maybe even eventually look up at your thumb. If, it, if you're really wobbly, it's best to just look down kind of at your hand, find a spot to focus on there. And then we're gonna bend the knee, step back, straighten the leg, bring our feet in alignment with each other and step our feet together. Oh, take a breath here. All right, so let's, um, I uh, want to do one more standing pose. Let's get our strap. We're going to take the strap behind us. Take our feet wide. Just like we did when we were going into half lift, right? We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. But now we've got the strap instead of our hands on our hips. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest. We're getting into that back bend, right? So we're lifting, and then we're gonna hinge from the hips, keep the chest lifted, reach the arms up. And just go where you can go with your arms. Let the crown of your head fall heavy, engage the legs, draw the kneecaps up to the thighs, root down through the soles of your feet. And then let's come all the way up. Step your feet together. Put your strap over to the side. Let's take a big inhale from Tadasana. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, forward bend. Dive down. Inhale, come back into that half lift. This time, just fingertips on your mat, maybe on your shins. And then exhale, let's step back to downward facing dog. Now pedal your feet, wiggle your hips. And then shift forward to plank pose. You can place your knees down. We're all going to shortly. So if you want to put them down now, go ahead. If you want to work a little bit on the core, you can stay here. Draw your navel in, push the floor away. Take your heels toward the back of your mat. And then we'll all place our knees down. Untuck your toes. <laughs> and we're gonna lower our chest and our chin down onto the mat. Okay. So slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Touch all 10 toenails onto your mat. Chin is at the center of your mat. And we're gonna lift up to Cobra. So squeeze the elbows into your ribs and lift. Lift the heart. The gaze can just be down at your mat. You should be able to shake your head. No, hi, Lily. <laughs> yes. Touch your toenails down there. But when you do that, that helps keep that same thing, that internal rotation of the, the legs. And then lower down. And just turn and look to the right.
Okay, so let's find our strap again, which mine is way over here. Find the strap. Some of you won't need it. If, if it is easy for you to interlace your fingers behind your back, you don't need a strap, okay? For me, I like the strap because that's kind of hard on my shoulders. But whatever works best for you, chin comes back to the center of the mat. And we've got our hands on our, on our strap or you're gonna interlace your fingers. And we're gonna lift the chest just like we did in Cobra. This time we're gonna take our hands down toward our thighs. So we're getting a little bit more lift here. Lift the belly up towards your chin and then maybe you can lift your thighs off the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Shake your head no, no tension in the neck. Lift your heart. And then lower down slowly, turn and look to the left. You can turn your toes under, wiggle your hips. All right, so you can do either one of those. You can come back to bridge. You can do Sambhasana, locust pose. Or if you'd like to do a deeper back bend, bend your knees, reach back, find your ankles or the tops of your feet. Now we're gonna imagine that there's a block between our legs. So we kind of squeeze into that block, flex your feet, and then kick into your hands. Kick into your hands. The more you kick, the more you open up the chest. Now maybe you can lift your thighs off the mat as well. Squeeze into that imaginary block, lift the chest, kick. Breathe, don't hold your breath. It's easy to do in these poses that are a little challenging. One more, can you kick a little bit more? Let that exhale come out and then come down. Turn and look to the right. You can winch your way for your legs from side to side. And then just turn and look to the left. Take your hands under your shoulders and then we're gonna press up and carefully press back to child. So just carefully, because we have a lot of action going on in our back bends. You're gonna stretch it out in child's pose. Come on back up onto your hands and knees. And then we're gonna take our take your blocks. If you have two blocks, if you don't have blocks, that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna go this way because you can use a chair too. If you, if you have a chair, I know we've been using them for a while, so you guys may have them. So you can have blocks or you can move them to one side to the other. Lots of options. We're going into camel. We're doing lots of back bends today, as you can see. So option one, let's all start with just the basic camel pose. We're gonna take our hands onto our low back. Squeeze the shoulders in toward each other, just like we've been doing, right? We're lifting the chest. And then again, you can even maybe help your tailbone draw down towards your knees, take your low belly up towards your chin. And then we're gonna to start to look up. Keep your hips over your knees. Keep your hips over your knees, thigh bones pressing forward, look up. Maybe you can start to look further back. This could be it, right? This is camel pose. If this is enough for you, stay right here. Some of you may be able to reach back and find your blocks or maybe even your heels. Or there's a, if there's a chair, you can find your chair. Wherever you're gonna go here. The other option is to reach one hand back onto your block or onto your heel and extend the other arm up for maybe two or three breaths, and then switch sides. So wherever you are, if you can hold it a couple more breaths, press the hips forward. Imagine that you're at a wall in front of you and your thigh bones are pressing against that wall. One more breath, press the hips forward, and then carefully come up, and take child's again. Knees come wide, 
Carefully, be careful. Take your tailbone back towards your heels, stretch that out. All right, come on back up onto your hands and knees. Take your legs out in front. And we're gonna make our way back down onto our backs. So keep your block and your strap handy. Let's lower all the way down if you're not already there. Keep your knees bent. And we're going to, let's start with our strap underneath our hips. So again, if those of you who have open shoulders and it makes it easy, if it's easy for you just to clasp your hands underneath your hips, you don't need a strap. I like a strap here too. All right. So we're gonna go into back bend, we're going to bridge. Walk your heels in towards your buttocks. Now, if you've got a strap, we're gonna take the strap and drape it across our palms of our hands and our palms are facing up to the ceiling. Thumbs are pointing out to the edges of your mat. Walk your heels in, root down through the soles of your feet and lift up into bridge. Now you can walk your hands in a little closer to each other. And those of you who interlace, go ahead and do that. We don't want our hands floating in space though. So we want the knuckles touching the mat. Pick up the right shoulder, walk it under your chest. Pick up the left shoulder, walk it underneath your chest. Now take your thigh bones towards your hips and then take your belly towards your chin. Keep the chest lifted, breathe here. Really root down through the soles of the feet. Maybe some of you can come up on your toes if you want. Lift the belly towards your chin. And then slowly, upper back, middle back, lower back, come all the way down. And you can windshield wiper your legs from side to side. All right, now let's get our block. We're gonna do another variation. This time we're gonna take the block and there's three heights. So low, medium, or high. I'm gonna go medium and I'm gonna take it right under my tailbone. So you don't want it on your low back, you want it on your tailbone. All right, we're still gonna get those shoulders underneath our chest. We're opening up the chest. Hands can come down by your sides, palms facing up and then slide your right leg long and slide your left leg long as best as you can do. If that is too intense, you can bend your knees again. So just opening up the front of the body a little bit more. Breathe here, take your low belly in and up, shoulders underneath your chest. Focus on your breath. Two more nice deep breaths here. Then carefully bring one foot back and then the other. Root down through those feet and then we're just gonna just take the hips up a little bit and lower upper, middle, lower back down. Windshield wiper your legs from side to side. And then hug your knees into your chest carefully. Cross the right knee over the left, hug your knees in. Maybe take a hold of your ankles, pull the ankles apart. You can take the knees over to the left. Lift your chest. And then uncross. Other side, slide your hands down to your ankles. If that works for you, lift the chest and take your knees over to the right. Feel that nice stretch in your piriformis. And 
And then come on back up, uncross. Take your right ankle over your left knee. Pick up your left foot or leave it down. And if your left foot comes up, we're gonna slide the right hand through, clasp around the thigh, the left thigh. Flex your right foot. Use your right elbow to press that leg away. And then you can take your legs over to the left again, going deeper into that piriformis, right into your belly of your butt cheek. Just go where you can go. This should, this should feel good and you can control it. So don't go too far that it's painful. You wanna to go to a point where it feels good to stretch this, this muscle. And then bring your knees up and we'll switch sides. So you can start with your right foot on the mat or pick it up and slide your left hand through, clasping around your right thigh. Draw that right knee towards your nose. Flex the left foot to protect the knee and then we can use that left elbow to press away. And maybe even take the leg slightly over to the right to deepen that pulse. Lift your chest. And then come on back and cross. Place your feet down. Let's take our arms out to the sides. Scoot your hips over to the right, cross your right over your left, and we're gonna take our knees over to the left. Pick up the left shoulder and wiggle that right shoulder down. Keep your chest flat on the mat. You can just look straight up. If it feels okay, you can look over your right shoulder or left, whatever works for your neck. And then bring your knees up, uncross. Take your knees over to the left, cross your left over the right. And we'll take our knees over to the right. Same thing, we're gonna get those shoulders down. So pick up the right shoulder to get the left shoulder down. And then find your gaze, whatever works for your neck. And bring your knees up, uncross. Hug your knees into your chest. Take your forehead to your knees. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then we'll find Shavasana. So all the different variations are available to you. You can just take your legs long, palms face up, shoulders scoot under your chest. Or you can roll up a blanket and take the blanket underneath your knees. Or maybe even take your legs up onto your chair or your couch. So once you're settled in, it might feel nice if, if it's cool in your house to put a sweatshirt back on or blanket. And then once you're settled in, just scan your body. Check to see if there's anything you're still holding on to. And then send your breath to that place and see if you can just let it go. We'll release any grip we're holding in our toes and our fingers. Relax your jaw. Soften your temples. And that lets your entire body release and melt into the earth beneath you. And I'll ring the chimes three times when it's time to come out from Shirasana. So just let everything go here, completely relax and release.
can begin to awaken your body. Start to bring movement into your fingers and your toes. Deepen your breath. You reach your arms overhead, get a big stretch, even yawn. When you're ready, make your way over to one side. Stay there for a breath or two. And then at your own pace, come up to a comfortable seated position. You can sit here with your eyes closed. Just notice the changes in your body since you got on your mat this morning. Just notice all of those beautiful changes may be feeling more open, more peaceful, more balanced, more, more energized. We did a lot of back bends this morning. Back bends are very energizing. So you may feel lots of energy this afternoon. Let's take our hands to our heart center and thank yourself for getting on your mat, for taking this time for you to do all of this great work not just for your body, but your mind and your spirit as well. I thank you so much for joining me today, this morning. Have a beautiful weekend. Namaste. And you can unmute yourselves. I'm gonna stop recording. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Karen.